Hey, man, you having a hard time keeping your pitches under control? These pitches be crazy. These pitches be crazy. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Wavy Wayne. WavyWayne.com, and today we got a real special video for y'all all about the new AutoTune EFX Plus plugin. Of course, we all know that AutoTune is legendary for its pitch correction, but it can do a whole lot more than that. So today we're going to explore the EFX Plus plugin and see some real cool stuff that we can do with it. I've teamed up with Antars to give you guys a chance to win your very own license to the AutoTune EFX Plus plugin. All you have to do is follow the directions down in the description. Let's Let's go ahead and check out some of the cool stuff that we can do with this new plugin. So obviously AutoTune, like we said already, is very famous for its pitch correction. So right here at the top, that's where you're going to see a lot of these pitch correction controls. One key feature is that Auto Key is compatible, but it's not um, uh, included. It is a separate purchase. OK, so if you see on my track and this is how you will find most of my recording and mixing templates, I'll have the Auto Key plugin. Um, this is included with AutoTune Pro. So if you don't have AutoTune Pro, um, you can buy this Auto Key plugin separately or you can just find out the key yourself. But what this does is automatically detects the key of whatever music um, is on the track. And then it has a little button that you can click to send to AutoTune. So it'll automatically send that key information to whatever AutoTune plugins are being used in your session. So basically right now, I'm just going to go ahead and play. Let's just solo this uh, beat for now. I'll just play this and I've already done this, but. As the beat is playing, the auto key plugin is going to detect the tempo. And once it gets a constant tempo that I think is accurate, then I just go ahead and hit the send to auto tune button. Now you see that it jumped between a few different uh, keys. <laughs> I think I said tempo, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> it jumped between a few different keys, but uh, C sharp minor is the one that we're going to land on. You might have to do that a few different times to make sure that it's accurate. All right. But that's enough about uh, auto key. If you don't have that plugin, you can just simply use a, a piano app or something like that, some other kind of software to find the key. It's, it's really not that hard. There's a bunch of different ways nowadays. So under input type, this is where you're going to choose what type of audio is on the track where you're going to be tuning it up. In my case, I am more of a alto tenor than a soprano. Um, I'm not doing a whole bunch of super low notes. So the low male, I'm not going to go with that one um, for now. So we'll just start off with alto tenor. That's generally the place where I start. As far as the key and scale, all of that has already been detected for me using the auto key plugin. But if it wasn't, I could just simply click here and choose my key and scale from the drop down menu. Now I have ran into some cases where the auto key was not accurate and I still have to just revert back to my old school methods of finding the key. No problem. Over here to the right side of this plugin, we have the formant control that you can turn on and off in the auto tune, right? So the formant control here basically allows you to change the singer's pitch without changing the size of their mouth. It's kind of like, you know, when you pitch something up and it starts to sound all chip monkey, that's because it's not, it doesn't have the automatic formant turned on. Or when you pitch something down and it starts to sound like the voice of God, you know what I mean? So if you want to keep the vocal sounding more natural without changing the, the size of the mouth um, when you change the pitch, then you want to use that formant control there. As far as the auto tune, this just enables the pitch correction or not. Now, this is key here because if you turn this off, then basically what you're doing is just using the EFX plus the effects side of this thing. And you're not really using the pitch correction, which is cool because I'm going to tell y'all right off the jump. Some of these effects that this thing can do can be really drastic. I put some stuff on um, on tracks while I was in session with a client just to try it out. And it scared the hell out of them. They was like, what the hell is that? Take it off. I don't want that at all. But this plugin knows that. I feel like they know they knew that some of that stuff was going to be a little dramatic. So they included this little mix control, which you al allows you to blend between the affected signal and your original dry signal. So this mix control is really great for that. But the only problem, well, there's two flaws in this plugin that I that I think. One of them is that 
I can't separate the modules to just do my pitch correction and be able to choose how much of the effect I want. Now, there is this little effect gain uh, here, but it, it doesn't work like like you think it would to where the, the pitch correction would still uh, be accurate. And then you can just add in how much of the effect you want. It it doesn't work how I um how I wanted it to. So what I found is a great workaround is that if you do want to have some of these effects, but still have the pitch correction, because uh, let me just show you all here what I'm talking about. Um, uh, well, you, you'll see here, but basically if I play this, oop, let's take this off solo. But if I play this and I start to bring the mix control down, then that will change my pitch correction and my, my vocal won't be 100% pitch corrected. So what I found is a great workaround is I will just use two auto-tune plugins whether that's using an auto-tune pro just to uh, correct the pitch and then using the efx plus to then do the effects um that's that's how i would do it or you could just go in on the efx plus do your pitch correction on one plugin and then go on the other one and turn the auto-tune off and then do the effects on the separate plugin that way you still have a hundred percent corrected pitch and you can blend how much of the effect you want that's a pro tip. I could stop this video right there. If you like that tip, that's gonna help you right now. Go ahead and leave a like in the <laughs> on the video. Like this video and subscribe if you ain't already. Oh yeah, freeloaders watching my videos without subscribing. Get out of my house. Get out of here. Chunk. <laughs> All right, so let's just take this one off and, and continue with this tutorial. Y'all done maybe forgot where I was at. <laughs> All right, so that's the that's the main uh, section, the auto tune section. All right, now there's also some settings here. Uh, use low latency if you have this on a record track as you record, and you definitely want to make sure that that's checked. It's automatically uh, checked by default. Enable auto key detection. That means that when I hit that send the auto tune button in my auto key plugin, it'll come over here. Um, you know the rest of that stuff we don't even gotta worry about for now. But that's a, the basic setups. Okay, now of course you got the retune speed. Just like uh, any other auto-tune plugin, this plugin can be used to create effects, a really strong pitch correction effect, or it can be a really natural pitch correction. So you got the retune speed. If it's really slow, it's going to be very natural and maybe not even correct your pitch at all. Um, but if you got it real fast, you're going to get that real t painty, um 100% corrected sound. All right. The humanized feature basically allows you to keep a more natural sounding vocal even as you're using really fast retune speeds and it does that by um, applying a slower retune speed to the sustained notes now for an artist like me a singer like me i need the fastest retune speed possible so if i wanted this to sound a little more natural i would definitely need to turn up that humanized feature uh, if we just listen to what i have here now let it go i'ma let it go Drop them prices down when it's moving slow Let it blow, I'ma let it blow Knock his head off if he hating, bro What you waiting for? So if your singer can't sing at all, <laughs> kind of like me Then uh, you're going to have to crank that retune speed all, uh, up a little bit more So that's pretty much what I do with my retune speed And that's just the basic auto-tune right there Let it go, I'ma let it go Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. And I always get people that ask me, uh, yo, wait, what template is that? I'm gonna answer that question right here, right now. Um, I simply recorded this little scratch track in using the Roddy Rich template that I have on wavywayne.com. So if y'all interested and you like the way this sounds, I didn't do any adjustments besides this auto tune on here. Um, Normally, I'll have my Auto-Tune uh, Pro on there, but since I'm working with this plugin now today, I put this one on there. Everything else is the way it sounds, so if you like how this sounds, just raw. It's not mixed or anything, but it's just my stock effects template that I use for my Roddy Rich effects. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, let's move on. The next section that we're going to talk about is the auto motion. All right. So we got the auto tune EFX side. But if we change over here to the auto motion, things can get really crazy. What this will do, it'll basically allow you to create these random patterns um, and, and create new melodies based on these patterns. So they got a bunch of different patterns that you can scroll through. Um, I tried this yesterday and I think I was playing with the Pent Major um, and it's pretty cool. You can even have these patterns sync up in the way that it changes. Um, you can have it sync up to your session's tempo, which is great. And I find that maybe even turning this up to like being a 16th note, 
uh, will make this a little little cooler. There we go. I gotta put my glasses on sometime. All right, cool. So I got my 16. <laughs> uh, so let's just listen to what this hap what happened here. But before we do that, let's take a look here. So we got the trigger mode. Right now, the trigger mode is on momentary. That means that in order to actually uh, hear this effect, you need to hit this play button and hold it. When you release it, it'll just be regular, right? And it won't do this pattern. So let's just listen to this first so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. Let it blow, I'ma let it blow. Knock his head off, you can make him blow. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? We make. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's try another one. Let's uh, uh, arpeggiator up. Let's try that. Let's just see what happens. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. Let it blow, I'ma let it blow. Knock his head. That's kind of weird. Um, let's. I, I think I want to go back to that pent major. I think some of that. Let's try the minor one. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. Uh, I think the major one was better. So um, basically, you see that we can trigger that. Now, if you wanted it to automatically just kind of toggle on, you can choose to toggle it. And then whenever you hit this button, it'll automatically stay on. Let it go. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> or you can have it on auto to where it will kind of auto trigger. But I figured that the, the momentary control is probably the best. And that way you can really get creative with it. But you will need to do some automation. So real quick, I'm going to show you how I would automate this control to maybe create something that sounds cool. To enable automation for a particular parameter inside your session, you want to hold down the three modifier keys, Control, Option, and Command. Now, that's if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Control, Windows, and um, uh, Alt. <laughs> Control, Windows, and Alt. Yeah, I ain't been on a PC in a long time. So you would hold down those three uh, modifier keys and simply click whatever parameter within the plugin that you want to automate. So I'm going to hold these three down and click on this parameter and hit enable automation for the play button. So now that that play button is enabled, I'm just gonna go over to my actual track that I'm recording on and change this automation mode over to touch. And whenever I play this, whenever I hit that button, the Pro Tools will record where I'm actually um, touching on that. And that will make it really easy to uh, kind of customize this effect only in certain sections. Um, I also found that this style um, is cool. So we've heard it in the hard effects. I think it might sound cool in the soft effects. So let's just go ahead and experiment with this. But again, all of these stuff can be automated. Every single parameter in a plugin can be fully automated. So um, the, the possibilities are really endless here. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. Let it blow, I'ma let it blow. Knock his head off if he hate him, please. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? Oh, we may get. All right, so that's cool. It's kind of getting a little crazy, but it kind of did some cool stuff. Let's let's take a listen to that. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this automation mode back to read, and let's play it. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's moving slow. Let it blow, I'ma let it blow. Knock his head off to be hating, please. <laughs> So if you take your time and play with this stuff, you can probably get some real cool sounds. Not probably. You definitely can get some cool sounds. Now, let's go ahead on to another part of this. Let's go to the auto-tune EFX section just by switching this back. Now, this is where some stuff really gets cool. Here's where I have my second problem with this plugin, all right? There is the multi-effects rack right here. Um, I wish that I could just load up the effects that I want to use. So they have a few uh, different effects like a tube amp. Let me actually have a, They got a tube amp. They got a little duet uh, generator. They got a mutate uh, 
thing that goes in here. They got filters. They got vocoding. Um, I would like to just choose each one of those effects one at a time and build up my own sound and save my own patch. But this plugin does not allow you to do that. Instead, what they have over here on the left side is a list of patches. Now they do have a bunch. Antares has a bunch. If uh, and then like each inside of each one of these is folder, so it's a whole bunch of different vocoding sounds, a whole bunch of different effects. Um, they got uh, Mike Dean has some effects in here listed, some preset patches, but. Again, Antares, if y'all listening, <laughs> and I hope you are, I would like to be able to individually manipulate this just from a professional standpoint. This is great for a lot of beginners and stuff that don't really want to get that much control over uh, what's going on, but I want to customize my own sound, all right? And I want to also be able to have my own little patch over here when y'all send this plugin out. Let's have the Wavy Wayne patches over there. Can y'all work that out for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> Put my name right up under Mike Dean. Y'all like this video and leave a comment and add Antares if y'all want them to add the Wavy Wayne patch in there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that we're giving away two free copies of this plugin too, so go ahead and leave that comment like I said. <laughs> All right, so with the patches, man, let's just start off with the Antares uh, folder. And uh, one of the most exciting things for me was kind of getting some vocoder kind of sounds. So let's just go here and, and let's just start off with the first one. So you see when you click one, it loads up all these different effects here. And then you have this uh, little effects controller over here to the side where you can control um, each one of these effects. Um, it's like a little X, Y graph here. So um, based on where you move this uh, uh, little little break point or whatever they calling it, that is how you're going to change the difference between. So in this one, since I'm on the tube amp control, um, up and down would be the drive gain. And then I got my compression left to right. So let's just hear how I can manipulate this. <laughs> So this sounds really cool and you, you can see how it's starting to get a really kind of a uh, um, um, drastic, dramatic, right? So you can do the same thing with the vocoder settings. Um, okay, now you got your uh, pitch shift up and down and then you got the mix percentage going to the left and right. So how much of that vocoder? Um, if you, Right now it's in the middle, so it's my regular pitch. If I go up, it's going to be high pitch, down will be lower pitch, and then left and right will uh, uh, bring the amount of vocode down or up. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop the prices down, let it bring it slow. All right, cool. So that can get pretty crazy. And then the same thing with the filters. Now, here's where you can do some cool stuff with this, like I was telling y'all before. You can actually go in and automate everything. So let's say I maybe, let's see, let's see what uh, Mike Dean got going on here. So if I go down to Mike Dean, let's just say, uh, bubbling lead vocal. What that sound like? Let it go. I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's down. So maybe some movement on this might be cool. Let's let's listen. Let it go. I'ma let it go. Drop them prices down when it's down. Oh, cool. I like that. Um, so I think when I say drop those prices down when it's moving slow, I'ma just bring this uh throat the pitch down. All right. So let's try that. What I would need to do to make this happen is enable the automation for this little control panel over here. Unfortunately, I cannot use my little three button mechanism to do this. So this is pitch shift and throat length. Um, so what I would need to do is go up to the top of the plugin under auto and click on this little automation button here. And I really don't like to do this because um, uh, it's uh, so many parameters in here that I got to get my glasses on. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, okay, so here is pitch shift and throat length. Okay, add and throat length. Add. Cool. All right, cool. So I got those both in. I'm going to hit OK. Hopefully, that was what? I don't know if that was the right one. Let me just double check because it normally it would, um, it would, it should be uh, uh, lit up. Pitch shift, throat length. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's just see what happens. So if I go over here to my track that I'm on again and change the touch mode, 
Um, why this these should be highlighted. Um, something ain't working right. Let's see. Maybe there's another pitch shift and throw. See, that's why I don't like doing it this way. Um, because there's it's just so so much. I might I might choose the wrong one. But let's see. It seemed like it it should be the right one. Let's just see. We are we enabled. All right, I'm gonna try to record. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop the prices down when it's movies to me. All right, cool. Let's see. Now I'm gonna play that back. Let's just change the read mode. Let's see if they record it. Let it go, I'ma let it go. Drop the prices down when it's movies to me. <laughs> that was tight. So that actually was the right uh, control. So you see that you can get real creative with that. Um, with all by using automation inside this plugin but be careful you're probably going to want to uh experiment with a lot of this stuff when your client is not around uh, because it can't get real crazy so if you looking for a crazy sound uh do this after they leave and find something dope and surprise them with it later because when you experiment they're gonna be like oh hell no hell no <laughs> That's my look at the new Auto-Tune EFX Plus plugin. We can do a whole lot of cool stuff that I ain't never even heard before, man. And especially if you combine automation with this plugin, you can get some real cool effects. If you want to win your own version of the Auto-Tune EFX Plus plugin, make sure you enter my contest just by following the details down in the description below. If you want to cop one of these professional templates that I use for all my recording and mixing sessions, check out wavywayne.com and download yours right now. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, baby. Don't be over here freeloading on my content and not liking the video or subscribing and ain't leaving no comments. You know what? You get up out of here. <laughs> but for all y'all that are subscribed and y'all are usuals with your boy, just say it with me one time. One, two, three. Be dope. <laughs>